Spironolactone is an FDA-approved medication to treat high blood pressure by reducing the excess fluids in the body. However, this medication, although not approved by the FDA to treat hair loss in women, some doctors prescribe this medication for off-label use such as to treat female pattern hair loss. With this medication, an increase in hair growth can be seen within 6 months to a year. Hey guys, kumusta kayo? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Moe and I do contents about nursing and skincare and hair care. In today's video, we will talk about spironolactone, an effective medication for female pattern hair loss. And so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Spironolactone is an effective medication for female pattern hair loss or that type of hair loss that is due to androgen or hormones. Spironolactone works by, you know, reducing that excess male hormone that is contributing to the female pattern hair loss. A medical condition called PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome is a common female condition where an excess amount of testosterone causes cysts in the ovaries and this results in irregular menstruation, weight gain, and causes hair thinning on top of the head. Guys, this medication is not over the counter, okay? This is prescribed by your doctor based on his or her assessment. If you're living in a country where some medications can be purchased over the counter, please, I am discouraging you from buying this medication over the counter as it is not safe to take this medication without a doctor's assessment. Spironolactone is mainly prescribed to treat high blood pressure and patients with chronic heart failure to prevent stroke and kidney damages. In terms of hair loss, a thorough assessment is needed before your doctor can recommend you this medication as not all types of hair loss is due to hormones or androgens. An example is a type of hair loss that is due to low iron. In this case, an iron medication is needed and not spironolactone. I did a video about early signs of female hair loss. In that video, I talked about things to consider when you experience early signs of hair loss. Go and check that video out. Just like any other medications, it comes with an undesirable effect. Because this medication is a diuretic medication and it will make you pee, this can cause a dizziness, weakness, lightheadedness, nausea, you know, feeling thirsty, etc. Spironolactone can also increase your potassium level as this medication is a potassium sparing medication meaning that the potassium is left in the body and does not come along urine. If you are planning to have a child, it is important that your doctor is aware as this medication can cause abnormalities in a developing fetus. If you will be taking spironolactone for the first time, make sure to follow your doctor and or your pharmacist instructions very well. Do not hesitate to ask them questions regarding the medication. If you are planning to take other medications aside from spironolactone, make sure that your doctor and your pharmacist knows about this. This includes includes medications such as minoxidil as this medication is also a blood pressure medication. And by the way, if you are also taking herbal supplements, please, please disclose this to your doctor and to your pharmacist as some herbal supplements can interact with the other prescribed medications. This medication can cause dizziness as I mentioned earlier and so it is a good idea to take this medication at night before bedtime. In the morning, I recommend to check your blood pressure just to make sure that you are blood pressure does not drop too low. For hair loss, your doctor might start you on a 100 mg daily or even lower than that and gradually increase the dosage depending on your doctor's judgment. Guys, seeing an improvement in your hair does not happen overnight, okay? It takes 6 months to a year to see a result. It is very important to take the medication on a timely manner, okay? And to comply with your doctor and your pharmacist's instructions. If you do not see an improvement within a year, let your doctor know so he or or she can reassess your medication and to try a different approach of treatment. So there we go guys with another nursing and hair care. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something from this. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section section down below. Follow me on my Instagram and Facebook page as I am pretty active on those platforms. Thank you guys so much and I will see you again in my next video. Bye bye!